Okay, so let's open up the SR10 Plus and uh, update its component here. Uh, very nice here. We have two antenna here for the 2.4 gigahertz band. So before heading into updating the steps, I just want to show you an overview of the FreeSky X20 and its component. For simplicity, you can break down the X20 and show it consists of these three main layers. Right, so to update the SR10 Plus and make sure it is compatible, in this video, we're gonna first update the Ethos OS. Then, second, we're gonna update the RF firmware. Then the third step, we're gonna update the Lua scripts. And then finally, the fourth step, we're gonna update the firmware in the SR10 Plus receiver itself. Guys, for better understanding of Lua and how does it apply to our RC hobby, you can check out this video I released. Thanks. So first thing first, let's bring up Ethos Suit. And we want to update our X20 transmitter with the latest Ethos operating system. So with our transmitter turned on, let's connect the USB to the back of this. And the screen will pop up like this. So let's select Ethos Suit so the PC can recognize it. Right, so on the left hand side here, let's select Ethos. And as you can see, I have a, some outdated version software here. So I just want to update everything to the latest. So I'm just going to update everything to the latest and click this uh, button right here. Okay, so it's writing all the firmware to the transmitter here. As you can see on the transmitter, this is what it looks like. And once, uh, once it's finished, I'm just going to eject the drive, pull out the USB connector, and power down. So let's bring up Google and type in FreeSky, and let's go to the FreeSky website. And download all the software we need okay so under here product transmitter select tandem series here and I have the tandem x20s so I'm gonna click that and scroll down and we're gonna hit download here and it'll bring us to this page and we are gonna download the RF firmware to the latest so click that and it's downloading here it's showing folder and this is where it download to my PC directory download so I have another directory here, my temp. So I'm just going to create a couple folder here. First, I'm going to create the ISRM, that's for the RF firmware. Okay, and I'm going to yank this over and copy it over here. And with this, let's right click and extract all and then just extract to this directory and under here, uh, we can delete this and under this directory, that's the file that we want. Okay. So under my temp again, I'm going to create another folder and let's name it receiver. And I'm going to put the uh, download software to there. So let's go back to the free sky and select the receiver here and 2.4 giga, gigahertz access here. And I'm going to look for the Archer Plus series here. And this should be a SR10 Plus right here. So let's go down and hit download here. And we want the firmware here, and which is the latest 1.08. Hit download, and it's downloaded to the zip file here, showing the folder here. And I'm gonna copy it to the receiver folder which I just created. And the same thing, right click, extract all to unzip, and we can remove the zip file. And under here, later on, we're gonna copy this archer to our transmitter. So let's go up and let's create a third directory, might as well, and name it Lua. And we're gonna go back to the Free Sky page here, and uh, there's under Lua script here for Ethos. Then let's download that. Okay, and it's showing the folder here, and that's where it is. 
So let's copy that zip file under a Lua directory. And the same thing, extract all here. Okay, extract, and we can remove the zip file here. We don't need any more. And this is the script that we want to copy over to the transmitter. So we have all three folder here ready to go. So now let's bring our transmitter to bootloader mode. And let's connect the USB and mount the all the drive. And onto our PC, uh, the SD card is mount right here as X20S SD. You can see right here. Okay. And under there, there's a firmware directory. And I have a transmitter and a receiver directory. Under transmitter, I have an X20S ISRM folder. You can create this folder and name it whatever you want. I just happen to name it ISRM to be compatible so I can remember. So under here, we want to copy the file over. So back to our PC where my temp directory, under this directory, we want the file, the FRSK file here. So let's copy that over to X20S ISRM here. Okay, next let's go up and bring up here. And under here, I also have receiver. And I have a 2.4 tandem and an Archer series here. Um, let's bring up the uh, FreeSky website here. And if you look at receiver here, there are many receivers. So I just don't want to mess up. So if you look at here, there's a 2.4 megahertz tandem. Uh, you scroll down here. As you can see, 2.4 megahertz. And I name it my folder based on what I have. So there's an Archer Plus series. So I'm just going to do the same thing here. See, 2.4 here, 2.4 Archer series. So I'm just going to be compatible. You can name it whatever you like, but I'm just going to name it a new folder as Archer Plus series. So I can remember all my download software on my folder transmitter. So let's name it Archer Plus series here. Okay. And from here, we can copy, go back to our download folder. And let's go in here and let's go back to our download folder here. And let's go up one more directory here. And as you can see, we download before re receiver here. This is where the device driver software is. So let's bring the FRSK and copy it over to the Archer Plus series folder so I can remember. Okay. So let's go up one directory more. And that's where it is. I kept all my receiver uh, file. Okay, so next, let's go to the script directory here. And we have a cell directory here. So we want to copy uh, basically uh, two folder from the, re the Lua script that we download before. So under this directory here, um, let's go down one more. You can see under scripts, there are two folder, the calibration and the stabilizing. Copy both of them onto your script directory. Okay, great. And now we are ready to go. Then for cleanup, uh, under the temporary my directory, my temp directory to download, you can uh, remove this if you want to just to clean up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove all these three folder as I don't need them anymore. And let's minimize this. And we have here on our X20S directory. So let's eject this and unmount this right here, eject. And from our transmitter, we can uh, pull the USB connect and safely power down the transmitter. Okay, so let's power up the transmitter again and update the R firmware. So let's skip Landing all this email. and Switch warning. Uh, skip all the startup here and let's go to setting here. Okay, let's hit setting here and under file manager, select that. And look at the firmware directory. We should have our file. So let's, it's under the SD card and it's under transmitter. That's where the RF firmware that we saved it as. And the ISRM folder. And under there, uh, press the FRSK file and hold down to it. And we want to flash internal module and update it. So it's 
it's gonna do this real quick so I fast forward it and it's done so hit close and we're set okay so because it's a brand new SR10 plus receiver I need to create a basic model file uh, I'm just gonna create based on what I need the airplane that I need you can create whatever airplane you need but just you need this to do this before you register and bind the receiver so I'm just gonna select the aileron here uh, to one channel flap to no flap traditional tail um, elevator I'm gonna have no elevator here um, and rotors one channel and I'm gonna name it uh, for the Jazz 39 uh, Gripen again you you should create your own uh, airplane model file as what you need before you register and bind the receiver okay next so let's register and bind so go to the airplane icon here and RF system and let's uh, let's take a look at this and turn it on here okay everything on access type and let's look for the bind and the register button right here which is here bind and where's the register oh, it's up here okay so let's uh, let's hit register here and I have a SR10 plus receiver here and I'm gonna connect the power source to it I have a battery and a BEC here and I'm gonna connect the battery to it and let's connect it to it okay and you have a red button you hold down that button for register and click on the register, register. here and there are, the name is ID is like, like that so I'm gonna hit register and registration okay hit okay here and that's done now it's just flickering between red and green here so next step is to bind so we need to pull out the power again okay and reapply um, the power and let's hit the bind first here bind. and waiting for receiver now you can uh, reconnect the power to the uh, uh, receiver and you don't need to hold down uh, that button uh, uh, as register before so let's connect the power to here okay and it select the device we need to select bind. SR10 plus here let's recognize it so press that and bind is okay so hit OK here and we have the green uh, light here which is uh, good okay that's great okay so next let's update the receiver to the latest firmware so hit setting here uh, we can check the info here so with the receiver it came with the hardware version 1.0.5 software firmware so I want to update to the latest uh, firmware that we already downloaded previously so the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to pull the uh, power from the receiver okay Telemetry and lost. from the transmitter sit, hit the airplane icon or setting icon and file manager and let's look up for the firmware under the receiver folder that we download uh, remember Archer plus Siri we create a folder and we load the FRSK here that's the firmware for the receiver so click that and we want to flash our X by internal OTA okay so let's select that bind okay and it's waiting for the receiver right now and now we can apply the uh, power to any of the pin here and bind it will automatically update over the air OTA that's what they call it and so let's select SR10 plus the device and it's bind. know that the current version is 1.05 yes and it's gonna update okay so the status bar is 90 and to 100 percent and done so with the latest software we can see right now go Telemetry back recovered. and let's scroll uh, let's scroll across and look at the info and look at the receiver and yes we have 1.08 which is the latest firmware okay so uh, the next step final step is let's calibrate so go to setting and you scroll over these are the two scripts that you just uh, downloaded so let's calibrate this so it tell you to place the receiver with the pin pointing that way so just leave it like that hold it still and hit enter okay flip it upside down hit enter and place it upward 
put the pin facing upward. I'm going to use this uh, to guide it to stand forward, upward, and hit done. Okay, waiting. Okay, next. Flip it upside down, pin going down, and press enter next. Okay, that's done. Now uh, put it on the side with the pin uh, facing to the right. Hold it and press enter. And that's done. And next, reverse it. Done. And the calibration is finished. And lastly, you have the SRX stab stabilizer script. And under this script is the same as the old SRX, but it's for the SR10 Plus. And it has all these gain and mode. And this is all the setting that you set for your own stabilizer for your airplane. And you can also do the self check here. Uh, press enable here, and it will do the self checking. And that's it. So that concludes this episode. And thank you for watching, guys. And if you find it helpful, please support my channel by subscribing, hit the notify bell, and comment if you wish. Bye now.